Hello, it's Connie Erickson and it's time for another Monday Live at 5. And today I want to talk about rage and its evil twin, or rather shutting down and its evil twin rage. They're kind of similar and I'll explain more about that in a minute. Um, hi. So I'm just saying hi to all the people that are here. So anyway, um, let's describe the scene. Um, a couple people wrote in and said that they just shut down during an argument, and I have seen it a million times. And you know, I'm sure in my 20s I did the same thing. But you get into a heated discussion, and all of a sudden you're just in tears, and one person is crying, and the other person is storming out the door and saying, "That's it. We're just breaking up. I'm done." And then the person in tears is crying even more and feeling like, "Oh, I just want you to listen to me," but they don't even know exactly what they want their partner to hear. They're just so upset and frustrated. So um, let me tell you more about that and what you can do instead. So hi, Lauren. Hi, I'm going to scrub your name. Zuninda. Hi, Jenny and Megan and Danny and Marnie and Alexander and Al. So hi, thank you for being here. Um, let me tell you why that happens. So I'm going to completely oversimplify the brain for you, um, but let me just tell you the three parts. The, the main, our job, our brain pretty much has a few jobs, and one of them is just to keep us alive, and the other one is to have emotions, and the other one is to think and problem solve. So the brain stem keeps you alive. It does things like um, control digestion and breathing. And when you touch a hot stove, it makes your hand pull away before you can even think. This is like a, just a really um, reflexive brain. And then the second part of the brain has emotions and it's kind of like when you touch the hot stove and you think, ow, that hurts. And that is the kind of midbrain part that's in charge of your emotions. And then the big brain, the, the whole outside part of your brain is in charge of thinking and problem solving. And it kind of has to work like that. The big brain can't work unless the instinctive brain, the, they sometimes call it the reptilian brain, is working and the emotive part of your brain is working, then the big brain can work. So if you do touch a hot stove, you aren't thinking, gee, I wonder what I should do. You just act. And that's true of lots of life-threatening situations. And it's also true when you get into a fight and you feel threatened. So you could be having a normal conversation and then when you feel threatened, or as therapists like to say, when you feel flooded, your big brain just shuts off and you are just in your reactive brain. So it's that whole flight or fight response. So if you're in that flight or fight response, that's what you do. You shut down or you fight. And you could do a few other things. You could just get silent. You could just get stupid. You could just play dead. Um, there's lots of maybe about six, not lots, of things you could do. But they're your go-to. So if you're someone that shuts down, you're going to shut down most of the time when you get that way. If you're someone that rages, that's what you're going to do. And if your partner's raging, it's hard to see it, but just think, wow, they must feel really threatened. Or if you are shutting down, you are feeling threatened. And that's why you do it. So what to do instead. Um, I usually start with screwing up because that's how I kind of learn things. So typically you are, have, are in a fight and you've already screwed up. You've either shut down or you've said a lot of rageful things that you wish you hadn't. So take a breath, stop the fight, <laughs> and regroup. And usually this is like later that night or maybe the next morning but regroup and figure out kind of what happened and there's a whole lot you can do about figuring out what triggered that but again these are just skills that's not therapy so I'm not getting it into uh, thinking about what triggered that but make a plan know that you're someone who shuts down so say to your partner okay if I shut down during a fight I need a breather 
and then we can start again when I regroup. Or if your partner, usually when you rage, um, you're not the one that wants to take a break, but you know, you could once you reflect on your behavior, but if your partner's a rager, you could say, Hey, look, when you get like that, I really just want to stop and regroup. So you're making a plan ahead of time. So, okay. So let's say you get to that part again and you've already made the plan and you shut down, you stop, you take the break. You said, all right, we'll, we'll come back to this. And then you need to regroup and figure it out. Okay. What am I really feeling here? What do I want to make sure that my partner knows? And then seriously, you should probably write it down because it's really hard to hold those thoughts when you're triggered, when you're flooded. And if your partner is raging, you say, all right, I see how important that is to you, but I really want to talk about this at another time when we're both calmer. And then that's what you do and you stop the fight as many times as you need to stop the fight and come back to it. Um, I'm hoping that's helpful. It seems really simple, but in practice, it's hard to do. But just know that when you are shutting down or when you're raging, it's because you're feeling really threatened and your big brain has just gone offline and you can only think with your reflective, uh, reflexive brain you can only be instinctual. So you need to slow it down so that your thinking brain can start helping you out again. So I hope that's helpful. And please give me your questions and hopefully I can work on those at another Live at Five. And if this was helpful, tell me about it. If it wasn't helpful, tell me about it and I could do things a little differently. So thanks for watching. I really appreciate you being here. Let me know what you're thinking.